A very rainy week ahead and the city of Jackson gearing up for the possibility of flash flooding. Yeah, that's right. We talked to the mayor about this today. He addressed the potential for flash flooding in the city, saying the city's wastewater division is really ready to go here. He says they brought in more employees who can aggressively respond to any issues that may arise. Aside from the capital city, we also reached out to other areas getting ready for the weather. Rankin County's emergency operations leaders say they are playing everything by ear right now, but they have trucks, boats, and other equipment ready. I have more for you on this coming up tonight at 6, of course. And you know, MEMA and Hines County's emergency operations centers, they are also preparing for this wet weather. That's right. As a matter of fact, 16 WAPT's Madeline Nolan has what you need to know. As we head into a week full of rain in the forecast, state and city officials are urging residents to prepare for a flood threat. It takes only about six inches of water to knock an adult off of their feet and also to cause some hazard and reach the top of your vehicle. And it only takes about a foot of water to completely float away most vehicles. The Hines County EOC director says residents who live in low lying areas or those who are prone to floods could see some flooding over the next few days. Choctaw Road in North Jackson, of course all your viaducts downtown, uh, Robinson Estates in Byram. Uh, you know, there's several others. Uh, usually the residents know uh, when you get a lot of rain that, you know, there's going to be some flash flooding. MEMO recommends you take photos of your house if you're prone to flooding just in case. And most importantly, turn around, don't drown. We don't want people driving through any flood water. If there is a barricade up, don't drive past that barricade. It is absolutely up there for a reason. According to the Hines County EOC, if you are aware of a storm drain near you being full, be sure to call your city's public works number. If you're in Jackson, that number is 311. Madeline Nolan, 16 WABT News.